Hello there, everyone. So I'm here at Whitney Pogs as Newcastle United take on Stoke City under 23s in the Premier League 2. Now, it's important that we'll get a win tonight. You know, it's 10 versus 11. Newcastle currently have 14 points and Stoke City have 17 points and Stoke have played two games more. Uh, West Brom are currently bottom. Uh, they've already got nine points, so they're looking doomed already. If they're not doomed already at first team level, they're doomed at, you know, reserve team level as well. So it looks like they're going down, but it's important that we get a win today, you know, and if we can do that, you know, we'll put ourselves on uh, 17 points as well alongside Stoke, two games in hand over them. Uh, sorry about the wind as well, as it is a bit of a, a windy night. Uh, and um, I'm hoping that when I do bring up the league team, maybe it's better uh, the day after, which will be Thursday when you see this. So We're just about to get underway for the first half. Ooh, cleared by Stoke. Good first chance for Newcastle. So we've played about 20 minutes, it's been rather tight really, there's not really much happened. Uh, Newcastle have a shot on target, neither have Stoke, uh, but Stoke have had more of the possession, but you can tell it's a 10 versus 11 clash. We're in the possession of the ball at the minute though, weather's not exactly the amazing either. Free kick to Newcastle. Ball comes in, hit it. Go on. Oh, very, very close. Goal kick to Stoke, though, but that's the closest that we've come. So, nil, nil, half an hour gone. Way by Stoke, caught out of Newcastle. Stefano Collar's coming off as well. And Jonathan Yardy's coming on as well as his corner has been taken. Oof, good effort. So it's 0-0, uh, uh, not much to report on really to be honest with you. Um, you can tell it's 10 versus 11, you know, both teams lack quality. Um, you know, both teams have had the ball, it's just doing something at the end of it, you know, and Stoke probably had the clear cut opportunity, you know, when the keeper had diverted from a corner, the corner came in, and they found the ball in the back of the net, but they got the ball. Oh, it's really cold, really wet, yeah, and it's half time, so it's still they'll be back in the second half behind the goal. Back for the second half, just behind the air goal, yeah. Goes over, goal kick. So one at the stock. Very disappointing. Got it all to do now. Oh, it's a free kick in Newcastle. Ah, oh, just goes wide. Another waste. So the one will stop. 
little free kick. Go retake it. That's a pen. Newcastle got a pen. I think. Was that a free kick? Oh no, it's an actual free kick from where I'm standing. I thought it was a pen because the way the uh, Stoke players reacted. Very late into the game, we need an equaliser, boys. It's going to be another four hours off in Newcastle. Especially in the order to get the team around them. Last, last, last we need to do something with this, we really do. Ball comes in. Really advice. Comes back to us though. Goes across the box. Oh, cleared by Stoke. Still the have one little stock. Corner out of Newcastle. See what they can do with this. Ball comes in. Go on, finish it. Oh. Got for another corner on the other side now. Gotta make this quick. Gotta try and get an equalizer from Simo. Right, here we go. Ball comes in. Still got the ball up. Come on. Come on. In good possession of the ball, yeah. Come on. It's gone for another corner. To Newcastle will put the pressure on now. Finley though. Ball comes in. Come on. Another corner, but on the other side. Ball comes in. Ah, it's gone over. Goal kick to Right, so it's a 2 0 to Stoke, and the goalkeeper has decided to kick the ball all the way over there for no apparent reason. I don't know why he's done it, but it's just foolish in my opinion. I know you're winning 2 0, but you don't need to kick the ball all the way down there. That's just stupid. Really, really stupid. And he's already just kept it in, but there was four minutes to start with time with the game over now anyway. Right, so I'm back from the under 23s, it finished at Whitley Park, Newcastle under 23s nil, Stoke under 23s 2. Fully deserved result for Stoke, it was a must win game for Newcastle as I said. You know, the weather wasn't really great. It was windy, it was raining, it was freezing. You know, the beast from the east, yes, it's pretty much gone, but it's on its way uh, back for the Easter. But in terms of the game, you know, for Stoke winning that game, they've now gone six points clear of Newcastle. Uh, if I bring up the league table, you know, they've got 20 points. Uh, yes, they've played two games more. And Newcastle are six points behind, but I'd rather have the points than the games in hand because, you know, Newcastle aren't guaranteed to win those two games with the form that we've had this season. You know, West Brom bottom on nine points they're currently you know five points behind us but they've got a chance of catching them yes you can't be relegated but what's really annoying me is that from last season where we only missed out against West Ham you know now really to go and get him promoted to Premier League one to pretty much going down this season with a win by you know finishing bottom second bottom of the table you know uh what does that say about our academy you know our reserves that clearly isn't good enough, you know, and that something's got to change. You know, the Peter Beatty situation isn't helping and uh, something needs to change very, very soon. Yes, we're in the cup finals, we're doing really well, but, you know, we're not guaranteed to win those either. We we'll probably will win one or two of them. But in terms of promoting to the future, who have we really got to look to, you know, because you look at our reserves, our academy players, you know, they're not really getting a look in. You know, it's shocking and... You know, you've only got to look at the rivals down the road, Sun, and they have got a better team than us, you know, in terms of bringing in quality, and we just don't have that, and something's got to happen, something's got to change over the course of the summer, you know, something's got to restructure, and, you know, Rafa Benitez has got to be able to pick first-team players, you know, from the reserves to push what on, and he's got to be able to have options, he hasn't really got options, that's why he wants money to spend in the summer, obviously, to make the first team better, but, 
you know, today's game, Stoke City were by far the better team. You know, they had all the possession. You know, they wanted it more. The first half, they had a ball which was in the back of the net. Uh, got ruled out for a, a foul on the goalkeeper. But, you know, Stoke really pushed on second half where it mattered. You know, they got the goal early on. And then, you know, they got the, the goal, the second one, late on in the uh, injury time when there was four minutes. of so stoppage time finished 2-0 in the end. Uh, the keeper kicked the ball away. You've probably seen that in the clip, but... Uh, it was just a game to forget, you know, there's not a great deal you could do about it, but I am concerned in terms of, uh, you know, looking at the future and people will think, oh, well, why are you whining about the under-23s? It's only the under-23s. But this is our future, this is our club, you know, and if we want to, you know, have heroes in the future, you know, we've got to be able to promote from within. Yes, it's nice to go and spend money in the transfer market, but you want to have local heroes like we had in Alan Shearer, you know, players that we can look to, and we're not really seeing that. Yes, Victor Fernandez looks really good, but is he really going to have a first-team uh, opportunity? Well, who, Well, who knows, really? Um, yeah, wasn't a be. I hope you really enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to 100% NUFC. I'm still going to the Huddersfield game there next week, so I'll be vlogging that and that's a must-win game as well. Uh, yeah, so just move on from it. How are the lads? I'll see you all later. Peace.